All right, here's a quick update. Just to know what's happening. Last night, we tried an experiment. Uh, every time we have Tu Yen and Lisa on the show, the ratings go up. We looked at the ratings from last night, they went up. So, right, here now. <laughs> yeah. Next thing. Get used to them. <laughs> also, Brenda is here. Brenda, tell the folks where you're from. Scotland. Scotland, you say? <laughs> Which part of Scotland are you from? Cumbernauld. Cumbernauld, that's interesting. I'm also from a town called Cumbernauld in Scotland. Do you know Big Jim? <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of big gyms in Scotland. Yeah, there are. What school did you go to in Cumbernauld? Um, I didn't go to school in Cumbernauld. I went to school in Springburn. My family are from Springburn. <laughs> You're joking. That's why I talk in a high voice like this. Don't your family talk in a high voice like this? No. Oh, OK. So, wait, wait, you moved from Springburn to Cumbernauld by choice? <laughs> through marriage. Oh, through marriage. How's that going? It didn't. It didn't. <laughs> Have you met Tien and Lisa? They cheer everyone up, apparently. Yeah, they're very nice. They are lovely girls. Now, let's see. <laughs> well, there's a few scenarios I could run. None of them, I think, <laughs> broadcastable. How, how long are you in America for, Brenda? Uh, I'm here to next week, next Thursday. Next Thursday. I don't understand a word. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> Are you having a nice time? I'm having a lovely time. Aren't Americans nice? They're lovely. Yes, I mean, when I was in Scotland, I thought, well, you know, when you come to America, everyone will shoot you. But they don't. <laughs> or, or have you been shot at? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Threatened to be stun gunned, but not Really? Shot. Yes. By whom? <laughs> I'd rather not see. <laughs> well, I'm afraid in America, you have to. We have, uh, you know, freedom of information here. If you don't tell us, then we get to... Make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you can stay quiet. It's the Fifth Amendment, isn't it? Yeah, gee, if you'd have studied up on that, Brenda, you'd have known. <laughs> <sighs> you know, sometimes, Brenda, I ask myself... <laughs> <laughs> you know what's coming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, Brenda, I ask myself, and then I think, no. <laughs> Because what I was going to say was, sometimes I ask myself, maybe I should go back to Cumbernauld. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Still, the thing is, though, it, I mean, there's a lot of nice people there. There is, yes, and we're a friendly lot. That's true. We're very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't oversell it, Brenda. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Starting to sound a little bit insincere. <laughs> Starting to sound a little bit forced, almost as if the warm-up guy is desperate to keep his job and <laughs> yells at the poor audience who didn't get in prices right. Please, please help me. Actually, I was on the prices right today. Yes, I was. I was. I recorded it. It's not live. <laughs> not like this show, we're live. I was on the prices right and um, and it'll be oh, May 14th that's coming out, and I can't tell you who won, but it wasn't me. 
Or maybe we all won, in a way. <laughs> However, it is a great day for America, everybody. Yes, sir. It is. It is, however, not such a great day for President Obama, who today admitted he made up a girlfriend in his autobiography. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's a good thing Oprah's off the air. This is the kind of thing that get you kicked out of the book club right away. <laughs> to be fair, though, the president said that the girlfriend wasn't totally made up, was more a compression of girlfriends. Democrats are outraged. Apart from Clinton, he's like, I love compressing girlfriends. <laughs> I start with the boobies, not push them together. <laughs> Do you know that in a new survey, 61% of American men admit they would rather get eight hours of sleep than have, quote, unquote, fantastic sex? That's pathetic. <laughs> I would definitely choose a fantastic sex and then make do with just seven hours, 59 minutes of sleep right there. That's how it's done. Come on. That's because... And if there's someone else there, so much the better. <laughs> it's a great day if you like to hang around in airports. <laughs> no, because today Travel and Leisure magazine came out with their list of America's best airports. Now, topping the list is Minneapolis St. Paul. I was surprised until I saw the factors they used to make a decision. Take a look at the list of factors. There's a presented flights on time, bathrooms with senators getting on, close to the city center. People think they're in the movie Fargo. And then the hand dryer's power enough to warm your junk. You know, you would have just thought, why do we do a list of five things? We should do a list of ten things every night and then count down from ten to... <laughs> Hey, if you're going to steal stuff, make sure it's within the family. <laughs> Do you know Minneapolis-St. Paul is the airport where the toe-tapping, you know, Larry, that's where Larry Craig, you know, where he took his wide stance? <laughs> I've been trying that ever since. Like, I can't even do that at home. When it's like, it's a, anyway, high-profile incidents like that can shoot an airport up in the rankings, but only if they involve something classy, like a half-gay senator looking for a glory hole. Right there, that'll do it. <laughs> Can you be half gay? <laughs> Jeff, is that possible even? Can you act? Yes, act yes, it is. It is? I'm part robot and part gay. <laughs> but you're all gentlemen. Thank you, Gray. No, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> the airport survey, I, I'm annoyed at it. I, I get annoyed at these kind of things because they always give high marks to airports with weird stuff like indoor gardens and yoga rooms. I don't give a crap about any of that. I want stuff that really matters, like uh, how quickly can I get out of the baggage claim after stealing somebody's suitcase? That's what I want to know. And then the survey has the category for best airport bars. And I'm like, what? Airport bars freak me out. They're almost like Star Wars. <laughs> It's one of the two places where it's acceptable to be drunk off your ass at 7 o'clock in the morning. One is an airport bar, and the other is at a place in an island called Ireland. <laughs> I look forward to your angry, incomprehensible letters. <laughs> you know that Las Vegas McCarran Airport got the highest marks for the quick security, and I'm thinking, well, of course. They did. Every other person in Vegas is a stripper. You just whip off your belts and shoes, and you're in in no time. It's not really the airport that matters, is what I'm saying. It's the airline. I go to Britain a lot, so I fly on British Airways, and I love them because they've got the, the pilots, they've got the British pilots, very reassuring. They're like, we'll be flying over a bit of nasty weather, nothing to worry about. <laughs> we might get attacked by some Nazis. We've been through this before. Chickity choo, chickity one, it's all right. Nothing to worry about. Did you see Downton Abbey? It was marvellous. <laughs> really lovely. Anyway, relax. And, I, and also, because I'm from Britain, I like the flight attendants. So they, when they come up and say, fancy a spot of tea, dear? Do you want some tea? <laughs> it's lovely. It brings me back to my youth. The only thing better or more accurate would be, fancy a spot of spray paint in a paper bag, dear? <laughs> but they only give the huffing sacks to the jerks in first class. <laughs> That's right, you can huff paint on British Airways. 
Yeah. Anyway, I'm talking about the survey of the airports. According to the survey, the worst airport is New York's LaGuardia. It was ranked dead last in friendliness. And when the workers in LaGuardia heard about it, they were like, travel and leisure can shuck it. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. They talk like that because they're from Scotland. <laughs> Do you know what was the second worst airport though? LAX, Los Angeles. And I was like, aha, uh -huh, not surprised. It's a dump. <laughs> it is. And it's a slang word. <laughs> no, it's got terrible Wi Fi there. The last time I, I almost missed a trying, uh, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Totally gave up. <laughs> I was like, I, well, the last time I was there, uh, there's a joke probably in there, a joke. There's probably a joke in there. The well, last time I was there, a joke happened. When, when all else fails, pal, just say balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> anyway, I, when, listen, when I'm, uh, you know, when I go through LAX, I'm always happy when I get to the terminal at the other end because they've got good Wi-Fi and you can log in and, and check your emails. And by that, I mean masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> I always try and CC everyone on those. <laughs> you know what LAX does have, though? Is it one of those giant Brookstone stores where, uh, you know, you, you go and buy stuff during the layovers? I don't understand. People go in uh, to buy, a, you know, a $5,000 massage chair. <laughs> Because that's the kind of thing you need in a layout. I get two hours, oh, I, I get time to go for a massage chair. But anyway, you're on a plane. If you want a massage chair, you sit in front of a kid on a flight, you'll kick your chair for 2,000 miles. Exactly the same effect. Don't you? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, what do you think? Uh, I would give it about a four. Yeah, yeah, four is about right. Yeah. Four and a half, four and a half. We're scoring out 20 here. Uh, Did he just cuss? Do you have to... No, when he cusses, do you blur his mouth? <laughs> you just drop it out. You, know, you, just, you just drop it out so it's like his mouth moved and nothing happened. That happens all the time. <laughs> that, I mean, that happens to me. I sometimes... And then come back in. I mean, I could be cussing here. I mean, I'm not. I'm not, but I'm not there. Jeff, are you cussing? Absolutely, you. Yep. Wow, that's outrageous. I've never been so... <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> we have a new thing. We got a new thing. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? When we get right in a point where we can just manage to live together in unity, us and the censors, and then suddenly we push it over the edge, and then war breaks out again. Oh, man. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. You're watching The Late Late Show, the huffing sack of late night laughs. <laughs> That's fair. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show where I'm not mentioning my new vest. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Yes? We can, you can add the ring later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great, thanks. That was Wolfgang Puck, celebrity chef. Yeah, I've just had an idea. You're going to pay for Brenda and her friends to go to Wolfgang's restaurant Cut in Hollywood for free. Yeah. Now, Brenda. Brenda from Cumbernauld in Scotland. When you get back to Scotland, tell them I did that and maybe they'll fat like lay off me a little bit. <laughs> it's a good restaurant, though. No. Hey, you ever been to Cut there, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love it there. Yeah? You, you, you enjoy meat? No, I do. <laughs> What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who still thinks huffing sack means disgruntled testicles. <laughs> You're a trash, you 
Emails. This is from Rob in Raleigh, North Carolina. You ever been to North Carolina? Oh, yeah, a little place there? Maybe like to go fishing. Or do you watch the NASCAR? They've oh, NASCAR yeah. in North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Go there. Yeah. Do you like NASCAR? I love it. You like a left turn, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. My girlfriend's cat always seems to attack me when I get close to her. Any suggestions on how to handle this? No, by cat. Are we talking about cat here? <laughs> I got nowhere to go that's not going to get beeped out. What you got? I've got nowhere to go that I've ever been before. Uh, no, wait. How can that be true? Because I thought you were only half gay. <laughs> All right. This is from Chris in New Brunswick in Canada. Oh, I love Canada, don't you? Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. no, I love Canada. It's, it's like America, but um, cold. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, dear Mr. Ferguson and Mr. Peterson, see, right there you got a Canadian. Right there. Yeah. Not assuming too much formality, trying to keep a distance. You know, Mr. Ferguson and Mr. Peterson, not Craig and Jeff or GP and the Fergs. Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Mr. Peters. Yeah, that's Canadian class. Canadian class. That, that's the kind of uh, start of an email that tells me the person who wrote it is wearing some form of knitwear. Very true, Craig. Yeah, I'm Very telling true. you. Very uh, true. Dear Mr. Ferguson, Mr. Peterson, when on a first date, how do you know whether to go in for a kiss at the end? Well, if you're Canadian, don't. <laughs> There'll be no kissing until after the wedding ceremony. At which point you will shake hands and then go off for a one-minute fun ride. <laughs> and then seven hours, 59 minutes of great sleep. <laughs> oh, we're out of time? Yeah, well, I'll just do the rest. Uh, there's only three. I'll do them quickly. All right. This is from uh, Anne in Malmo, Sweden. Oh, Sweden. All right, okay. Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. That sounds German. Well, could have been. Uh, what's the best way to get a green card? Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, first, get a late-night talk show. They, uh... This is from Eric in Aurora in Colorado. It says, Dear Craig and Jeff, have you ever spent the whole day doing absolutely nothing at all? Uh, this is from Mark in Rochester, New York. Dear Craig and Jeff, I am travelling overseas to England, but I don't have enough time to visit Scotland. Am I missing out? No, you're just... I got a mad idiot. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. so hard my microphone pack fell out of my ass. <laughs> not the first time. No, it's not. My first guest tonight is on uh, Smash, which is those Mondays on NBC. <laughs> Please welcome <laughs> the extremely classy and lovely and beautiful Angelica Houston, everybody. Angelica Houston. Angelica, how lovely to see you. What a lovely top. Thank you so much. And also your shirt. I think it's all kind of getting in the way of the microphone. But if your skeleton can wear so much jewelry, I don't see. Yeah. Oh, did they say that to. your jewelry might uh, tap against the microphone? I know they're a bit concerned backstage. Right. Well, how's it sounding right now? It's sounding okay. Just oh, yeah, try okay. not to move too much in this area. Okay. <laughs> You know how hard that is. <laughs> I know, because I know it's kind of your speciality. Yes, yeah. and you have so much going on on this show. I kind of do. I got the horse. Um, skeletons in your closet. Skeleton. Well, there's, there's nothing closeted about that skeleton. I'm uh, out of the closet. He, he, well, actually. he's half in, half out, apparently, now. I, I don't know. Can you be half gay? Is that a thing? Does that horse kick? Uh, 
Kind of, but it, but he's wearing sneakers, so it doesn't matter. He prances. Yeah. Is you he keep horses, don't you? I love horses. Yeah, well, there you are, then. I, 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 yeah, I've resisted going to War Horse, though. Have you, have you I seen can't, War Horse? I can't, because as uh, much as I love Steven Spielberg movies, I, I can't, because I, I think bad things might happen to the horse. Or even, or even the threat of bad things happening to the horse. You might be right. That's why I'm, I can't... That can't horse do. would be going over to the Somme, you know, Yeah, no, I can't, I can't. It's, I can't. An, it's an ugly the first, journey. The First World War, oh, jeez. I know. Uh, that's not funny. It's no. so not funny. I mean, m m many things are, are funny, but the, but the First World War isn't. Uh, no. Except when, when it's on Downton Abbey. Then, for some reason, hilarious. Why I, do I... I'm obsessed. I just watched the whole of Downton Abbey in, like, two days. Well, that's how you do it. I'm, yeah. I'm so preoccupied with the Did whole... Did you watch the first season? Uh, yes, in, right, two, in days two days right. and the second. Right, so so like when the Turkish guy dies in bed, Mr. Padmuk. Yeah, yeah, Padmuk. Uh, like, so yeah. good. Everyone he's just like he's a regular guy, and then he just goes to bed, and then he dies, and then they carry on. And, and I'm he's like, like, he's 22 yeah, years yeah, old. Well, come on, what man, happened that? to that guy? I mean, couldn't he just have gone? <coughs> I'm going to bed. I mean, something. <laughs> I know. And but Mary was so compromised. Yeah, she was compromised I because love she Mary. had that gentleman in her bedroom. I'm yeah. afraid so. And let me tell you, ladies, that's a faux pas. <laughs> in the olden days, it well, was. Well, it can be now as well. If you have a dude die in your bed, you got some splaining to do. Good, especially, I yeah. know, especially if you kill a 22-year-old. Yeah, 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 that's. Uh, I mean, it's all right. They're older. I mean, I'm going to be 50 this year. You can knock me off, and no one would ask any questions. <laughs> They're like, well, he had a good innings, that's fine. I, I'd still think it was pretty suspect. Well, thanks, I think. No, uh, no, truly, it's a compliment. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. Tell me about the show Smash. It's about Hollywood, isn't it? I mean, uh, Broadway. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's all about Broadway. We have singing, we have dancing, we have no like forensics, no cops. It's great. Is there another show like that on TV, singing, dancing? None. <laughs> It's a kid's show. Oh, right, right, right. But it's, uh, do you, you've been on Broadway, haven't you? Um, no, I understudied on Broadway. You never actually, I never I actually got to go on. That's crazy. I was in t uh, Nickel Williams Williamson's Hamlet, and, um, and he got to go on an awful lot. He was actually notorious for walking off stage in the middle of the show. See, that's when actors were actors, when they got drunk, so drunk exactly. they couldn't finish the play. That's what I want <laughs> to see. Those were the days. That's, that's when acting's acting. Exactly. I'm so drunk, someone else will have to finish. <laughs> Yeah. I can't remember my life. No, I, I'm sorry, I'm far too talented for you bastards. I'm going to the bar. It's true. It yeah, was... Nowadays, the actors are all got abs Nelly, and hair. I know, you know and che I mean? No chest hair. No chest. Oh, you like chest hair? I, yeah, it was the old days. Everyone had chest hair. Now, no men don't have it anymore. Well, Do you all have chest hair? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I got a little bit. It's a thing not, of the not past. Not with me. I, really? I keep it at home. Yeah. You keep it well hidden. No, I don't. I don't. Well, I just don't naturally don't have much in the way of hair up here. I never thought men were up to waxing. I don't wax. I either. underestimated men yeah. for for years. I thought they didn't have the. Well, apparently men get their junk waxed. <laughs> you might well go, oh, guy up there. I know. Truly, no comment. Truly, well. I'd prefer to be bitten by that, you know, to even contemplate it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you... That's a horrible thing. You don't like that? Test. It's vile. What, what where do you mean, do... vile? It's lovely. Look at it. It's, it's one of nature's really creatures. really spooky. Frozen into a cup form. Uh, yeah, it's a bit worrisome. Would you prefer if it was a horse? I think you're surrounding yourself with dangerous objects. I, I think it's worth a, a good look. Do you think at that? Are you in therapy? No, but maybe yeah, you should be. I, I, well, I am. I am. Are too. you? Yes, yes. And and apparently is this part it's, of the exercise? Yeah, yeah. It's surround yourself by, with frightening Terrifying things. Terrifying objects. And then you won't be so frightened in your every... It, it, well, actually, it's not a bad idea. It's a good idea. Yeah, surround yourself with frightening things, and then when they go away, you won't be as frightened. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I think it's working. I don't know. I'm not really frightened of snakes, though. Are you frightened of snakes? So scared. Really? Yeah. It's not a real snake. I, yeah, even the reproduction gives me the whim whams. I mean, look. Hold up, the whim whams, you yeah, say. Yeah, it's missing a tooth, too, That's I see. That's right, it's missing you a tooth. You broke that tooth off, didn't you? I, I, no, it's, uh, it it's originally itself. from England. Uh, oh, no wonder. It didn't get to go to its no. little dentist, did That's it? That's right, no. I say, have you seen Downton Abbey? Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um. Maybe so that's what was in Mr. Padmuk's bed. <gasps> 
What, a snake? You think he was bitten by a snake? In England? There's no snakes in England. There's like Adams. Ireland. That's Ireland. There's well, no Ireland snakes. there's no snakes. Yeah, because of St. Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. yeah, he banished them. But yeah. England, England's got a You know, I have to say, I, I don't want to ra rain on anybody's theological parade, but the whole getting rid of snakes in Ireland by St. Patrick, I think, is a little weak. I believe it. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Wait, did you just <laughs> shaw me? You just <laughs> shawed me. I just got shawed by Angelica Houston. You, you went, shaw? You shawed me. It's popular knowledge. Everyone knows oh, St. Patrick banished snakes. There were no snakes there in the first place. They were all used up in <laughs> I don't know they Excalibur were, Yes they were yeah. no no that was else was that in Ireland it was filmed in Ireland Oh well that's, that's yeah. what counts <laughs> Yeah yeah I'm sorry I forgot we were talking about the movie uh, yeah. yes We have to uh, <clears throat> take a break I nearly fainted Very well. there did you see that <laughs> Was that I, I went to go we and then I kind of went <clears throat> <Go. laughs> <laughs> It was awesome uh. well, let's do it. I think it, it's a delayed reaction to you shying me it could have been. I can't believe you shied me. I'm, I may try again, sure. just to see if it works. Do, do it. Like, oh. Cut off. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. So, you didn't think you had enough on your hands. Ivy, Julia, Michael Swift, first preview tonight. I'll have to make sure Rebecca has everything she needs. This blows up in any way, Derek. I'll strangle you. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with the lovely Angelica Houston. Well, we're out of time, Angelica. Ah. Oh, well. <laughs> Not really, but that's that makes for an easy evening. We are out of time? Well, sort of, but not really. What we do is we get started. Oh, dear. You're going to do something to me, I know. <laughs> I will if you like. I'm open. I don't, I don't want you to, get, to give you the whim-whams, but, uh, <laughs> but I could show you my chest hair, such as it is. Well, we, yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> You have any? I'm like a dolphin. I could here. do another, like. Oh. Yeah, do it. Go ahead. No, no, you have to show me your chest hair. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't possibly do that. Maybe later. Oh wow. Well. Uh, <laughs> do you want to see my kangaroo testicles? Yeah, I All do. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there. Do they climb the Eiffel Tower? Um, they can do. Why not? Yeah. I think. I, I'm a little Should worried that, that perhaps happen? the... No, 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 no. The, the French may be upset if I dangaroo <laughs> kangaroo testicles from the Eiffel Tower, and then I think, well, they're going to be pretty upset by this anyway. <laughs> With the whole paint job, so uh, there you go. Uh, like that. Could I have a bit of a feel? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Have a, have a rummage. See, isn't that nice? These are very hard. <laughs> I imagine uh, when they were taken, it wasn't the kangaroo's best moment. Do you think, do you think they were taxidermied or stuffed, perchance? <laughs> <laughs> Just a simple question. Mm, they... No, I think, I think, uh... <laughs> hang on a second. Hang on, I just have to cast my mind back to Australia. No, don't do that. <laughs> No, I think that's the. Uh, I think they're like that. Uh, they have a, a sort of mousy feel to them. Well, kangaroos are like giant mice with uh, uh, with baggage pouches. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, how do you want to do this? Awkward pause, mouth Money. organ. Money. <laughs> cash prize, fifty dollars and quarters. Don't touch the money until you've earned it. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, you ready? Two ways to win the uh, to win the money: uh, fifty dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar on it. Um, you can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You guess what's in the box. If you're right, you win the money. If you're wrong, something awful happens to you. Something awful? How awful? Something that might give you the whim whims. Okay, the stuff in your the box in your head. Oh, right, the box in my head. Fair enough. I have to imagine a box first. I, I know, I'm working hard too. To what? To imagine the box in your head. Well, you gotta get me. It's let, square, right? No, I've gotta imagine it first. <laughs> if you imagine it before I imagine it, then you're I leading. I thought you had to imagine what was in the box as opposed well, to the box. Well, I have to itself. imagine the box before I can imagine what's in the okay. But I don't know what's in the box. I imagine the box with something in Are you sure you don't want the question? Okay, the I know. No, I no, no, I 
want to know what's oh. in your head. All right. <laughs> All right. Jeff, I'm imagining a box. <laughs> All right. Jeff knows. Are you sure? Yeah, that's how we do it all the time. Yeah. He's so interpretive. Well, you know, we've known each other for a long time, and... Uh, you should be an actor. Um, He's too expensive. <laughs> Sorry, I can tell. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Um, a beautiful present for me. Uh, like a diamond necklace. <laughs> right? Right, Jeff? Uh, Jeff, what is in the box? We would have also accepted Craig's hairy chest. <laughs> but that is correct. A diamond necklace? Oh, you're right. I was imagining a diamond necklace. Here's a $50. Thank you. is a terrific actor. He stars in Mike and Molly, which airs Monday nights at 9.30 on CBS. <laughs> Take a look at it. Please welcome Reno Wilson, everybody. Reno Wilson. Doing. I'm good, man. It's a raucous crowd. It is a raucous crowd. You're right, but uh, they didn't get to the prices right, so they're a bit huffy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get some bags for them? Uh, sure. I've got some stuff for them. Really great uh, going away gifts. That... <laughs> no, man. No. Huffing. I haven't seen you since the kids' preschool thing. That's right. Yeah, we, our, our kids went to the same preschool and they had the the auction. And, and now they're oh the auction. Yeah, I remember the auction. You remember the auction there, Reno? How, how's my how's my photo book doing? Yeah, man? your photo book's doing fine. I I outbid Reno for some macaroni art. But you know you, you, you was it what was it a macaroni art piece, right? Yeah, it was a macaroni art piece. So yeah. you know how they have the auctions at, at the little galas for the school. Yeah. And and auctions get crazy. They get emotional. Yeah, they do. And yeah. the numbers start going up, and yeah. you get all. <sighs> yeah. yeah. So uh, Craig actually helped me out. Yeah. Because I don't know if you knew, but I ain't have no money to pay for that. Yeah. So let's let's say it started out at like five hundred dollars, right? No, no, let's don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> let's say it started out at like ten dollars, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we started going back for, and then you know, the guy goes going once, going twice, and I go, huh? And they go, oh, twenty-five dollars. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he would go back and forth. Twenty-seven dollars fifty yeah, cents. Exactly. No more. No more. And then it got to the point where it got to 30, which was crazy, right? Yeah. And then I looked over him, they go once, twice. I looked at you, I remember you looked at me like, you ain't got no money, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought right up until that point, I thought, aha. And then as I walked home with my piece of macaroni art that wasn't even done by my kid, I thought, <laughs> the hell? So thank you for that. Yeah. Because it was for the school. Yeah, it was, yeah. Anyway, the show looks good. It's doing well. You got money now. Maybe you want to buy a piece of macaroni art? I'd love to. Yeah. I'd love to. My daughter never forgot that. I didn't never never forgive me for not getting that. Uh -huh. piece Is it hers? I'll give it to you for nothing. Really? Yeah, yeah, sure. What are you going to do with it? I don't even know if I still have it. I do. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. I <laughs> I still have. I'm a hoarder. Are you a hoarder? No, no, no. Uh, my, my wife is the opposite of a hoarder. Uh, uh, because her, her dad is an antique dealer. So therefore, I think when you grow up with an antique dealer, they, they hoard everything. So Right, her... so she rebels against that exactly. by hoarding nothing. So yeah, we got like a living room with just like a couch. <laughs> but I'll come home and then the couch will be over there. Well, if you got the room. Yeah. Yeah, you enjoy the movement. I don't. Why not? I like that. I like moving furniture around the house. It's actually my hobby. Is that your thing? Yeah, because if I move furniture around the house, I don't have to go out. No, no. Yeah. Do you want to go out, honey, or do you want to move some furniture around? No, no, my wife loves that. I, I enjoy being the, the person who uh, receives the moving of the furniture, but I can't move. I don't have that, that feng shui gift. No, I, I don't have that either. You no, know what no. I mean? So what, furniture is just crazy in your house? Yeah, yeah, we have the couch right in front of the front door. <laughs> You see that? And then there's a macaroni art just after right, that. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. Macaroni art collection. Jeff! Hey, what's up? What's happening, Reno? What's up, man? Good to see you, man. It's nice to meet you, brother. Great party last week. Yeah, you, well, that was good, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, did, I didn't know you could beatbox like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dro drop a little bit for him. No, oh, no, I can't. Wait, 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 wait what the hell? <laughs> you didn't? You didn't? No, I, I, didn't, oh, I don't right. include my, it. My bad. <laughs> 
So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Reno, are you named after, you know, like... Uh, you like know, Nevada, uh, like the biggest... Yeah, level? like named after the town? Uh, I, no, I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that... Hold on, there ain't no Brooklyn in the house? Yeah. Come on, there's gotta be a little bit of Brooklyn no, in the house. No, no. There ain't no Brooklyn in the no, house. No, no. Brooklyn and L.A. is kind of like Silver Lake. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the closest. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of like. I live very near. So oh, do you? Really? I do actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of Brooklyn-y. I ran the rest now. of the world. No. hipsters in Brooklyn now. You a hipster? Do you think? You nah, like... nah, man. My my area, the the hipster movement hasn't gotten to my neighborhood. In okay. You know. I know that neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, that's all right. No, it's cool. Yeah. You know, there's still a little raucous over there, but that's okay. uh, but I don't know why I was named. Uh, Reno? Yeah. Well, you know how uh, Porsche and Bex, they name their kids after where they were conceived. So there's right. Brooklyn, and yeah. there's a, a, a dumpster. Yeah, and, yeah, and, uh, yeah. And uh, a, a bed. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. You know, my, my dad was a blues musician. He, he died when I was four years old. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, uh, it, was a, he was a, it was blues, though. If you're going to die, do it while you're performing. Yeah, he died performing? Performing in wow. Manhattan. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of hardcore. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know why he named me Reno. I have three older sisters. and What are their I, names? Uh, Marie, Patricia, and Yolanda. Those are my three sisters. And my yeah. mom, they raised me. I love them very much. They're yeah. watching right now. Yeah, well, I, they must be very proud. I mean, this show is a huge hit. You yeah. get all this money. You buy all the macaroni art you can <laughs> want. Uh, fantastic. They must be very proud. Balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, you really do know that guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you even got the thing no, down. You got the thing down. Yeah, all right. Hey, uh, that's my muck. Cause Jeff is my muck. Oh, hey, you can do it. I do it. Yeah, that's my no. thing. Yeah, he's well. I do it every week on Mike and Molly. I curse like a, and nobody knows it, cause I'm always self-centering myself. You are a genius, thank buddy. You, thank uh, you. Thank you. No, no, that's the when you just curse and nobody knows that you can curse that right there. Oh man. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. You are one bad. <laughs> What are you gonna do with all this, buddy? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You got a lot of homework tonight, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I know. Listen, we're out of time. What do you want right. to do? Uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or uh, you want to go for the big cash prize? Damn it, mouth organ. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Dad was a blues musician. Mom's an opera singer. Mom's an opera singer. I could, play we, piano. could we could we be looking at the golden harmonica tonight? I don't you know, know if you can play this thing. Listen, you can I, win the golden harmonica. This is what I've heard. What? I, I wanted the bag of cash, but I played the harmonica once in a play in 1991. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna cut it here. But I know, I know, yeah, right. I know. But I'm in this moment, so I'm gonna I'm gonna all right, play well, the mouth organ. I don't know. I, I wish you luck. If you Thank can you. play this thing, you can win the golden harmonica. Let's hear it. Do, can I get the secretary to dance while I play? Uh, don't push your luck. All right. All right. <laughs> That's why he didn't come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. And the horse will come out and dance. All you right, ready? the time we have for tonight <laughs> ratings people <laughs> good night everybody good night <laughs>